don't know why the Navy needed so many variations when the good old Army 37 does everything you need it to. <laughs> UNSC Army, 2520-2524, to 2524, 21st Infantry Logistics Company, Trey Boucher Veteran, 3 Gao Tours. Would have re-upped for the war, but they didn't let me. Stop asking about my bastard any cousin. More power in one bullet than entire mag of assault rifle. God loves the UNSC Navy. Glorified taxi service. They lost every fight to the split chins. We would have won every battle if the Navy wasn't full of outer colony any lover. BUNSCA. Ditch all ATGMs. Now you don't have explosives to do guerrilla against the fag aliens. Seems like you need to get a brain before posting shit. UNSCN. 2530 to 2530. UNSC last one home. Took down one plasma torpedo with my goalkeeper. Couldn't take down the second one. Haha, <laughs> how's the missus? Maybe if those Martian retards had given the gun a proper barrel, you could hit the broadside of a barn. Anyways, you heard anything from St Stefan? Man's not been quite right since his daughter died. Said something about the Fed stealing his kid and replacing her with a changeling. Section 2 Veteran 2514 to 2522. Far Isle was justified. Hey. You boys think that if I asked, one of those Spartan chicks would bench press me? I heard that there was one that retired to Earth and had some kids with a dude, but I don't know how true that is. Don't you talk about my wife like that. CMA 2550 to 2550. Section 1, 2550 to 2555. The Innies deserved it. I wonder if her kids are genetic freaks like the S1's kids. Yes, but only in the sense that S2's were always going to be genetic freaks, even without the Spartan program. And also because the Spartans didn't have genetic augmentations. It was all surgical. I thought it was both. I mean, S1 kids were all roided as fuck because of Project Orion. That feeling when no seven-foot racist redhead super soldier wife to break my pelvis multiple times a year. Don't forget that she's probably the single greatest sniper humanity has ever produced. On the Covenant space station, she went four out of four sniping the pilots out of moving banshees from a significant distance, shooting one-handed while hanging from a cable. I think Kelly deserved to get dicked down by John. But Linda is absolute bay. She was also upside down when she did that. She's unironically my favorite female character. Linda survived an overcharged plasma pistol shot to the back of the head during Reach, too. Granted, she wasn't conscious afterwards and was shoved into a cryopod on the autumn. IIRC, her pod was ejected into space for the entirety of Halo 1 and she got scooped up by Master Chief afterward in a book. But that's better than what most people would have come away with, that being no head and a ticket to meet Jesus. Last I heard, Vadam doesn't even control his own planet. So, how's your cousin? Last I heard, he left to uncharted space instead of fighting like a real man, the lily liver. How's life on the human reservation these days? I don't understand the appeal of the M45 versus the M90 to now the Bulldog? What was the purpose of the UNSC to entirely change the best combat shotgun known to man? 12 shells to only 6 was a retarded design choice. The UNSC wanted to save 8 gauge shells. Fucking bean pushers got a lot of good men killed back in the war. Last I heard, a split lip advocated for the switch to the mag-fed 12-gauge while on the Infinity. Fucking split lip saboteurs. 12-gauge? 
Are we trying to mildly irritate the fuckers instead of killing them now? You and SC run by retards now. <laughs>